Hey guys, welcome to a spooky episode of The Buzz. I'm Charlotte Pruitt. And I'm Brogan Craner. This week we're talking about the Kardashians' new deal with E! and Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber hanging out again. Plus, we have A&D, Punk SC, and Netflix and Chill. That's all coming up right now on The Buzz. Starting off our countdown at number three, you can keep keeping up with the Kardashians. The Kardashians have signed a five-year contract with E! that will bring in $150 million to the family, according to TMZ. Kris Jenner confirmed at the summit in New York they've agreed to another deal, but they didn't go into details. So I'm definitely going to be tuning in. Um, I think that there are so many characters in this family now, like Black China and yeah. you know Rob's back. That I feel like this will be the like the best seasons ever. <laughs> uh -huh. I thought it was interesting that they just gave them 150 million dollars, and it's up to them to decide how they split it up. Right. So I, I feel like, like there's it's probably some... based upon episodes or probably, maybe like yeah. most dramatic like scenes or something like that. But yeah, that's but definitely also, interesting. also, what I thought was interesting is that ratings have actually continued to go down. So mm -hmm. I'm surprised that they increased the amount of money per each season. I just think for them, it's like they've never lived life off camera. So it doesn't even matter how many viewers they get. Like if they can get a deal, they'll get a deal because it's just part of who they are now. Yeah, absolutely. And next on our countdown, Justin Timberlake is bringing sexy back to the Super Bowl halftime show. Excuse me, sir, do you have the time? I was going to ask you, sir, if you have the time. I do have the time. You do have time? I do have time. You do have time? I do have time. You do have time? I do have time. You're going to have time to the Super Bowl? You do have time! <laughs> Looks like JT does have time to perform at the 52nd Super Bowl. This is the Suit and Tie Singer's third halftime performance, making him one of only two people to perform at this venue three separate times, according to Billboard. The game airs February 4th. And now for our number one story, Selenators and Beliebers rejoice. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez have been hanging out again, according to E! News. The two have been on and off since their official split in 2012, but sources tell E the exes have been hanging out as friends since her kidney transplant in September. The same report says that Selena's new boyfriend, The Weeknd, is totally fine with Jelena being friends, and even says the three may hang out all together soon. Next up, Isabel is back. Here's the newest installment of Netflix and Chill. Thanks, Brogan, and welcome back, Isabel. What is going on on Netflix? Well, there is some very interesting scenes coming on. I'm super excited to be back. First of all, it is Halloween this weekend, so we have some <laughs> spooky edition comments coming up. So the first movie we have coming up is a creepy doll with red hair that is completely bringing back my childhood nightmares back to life. <laughs> Let's go watch this clip to see if we remember this terrifying thought. Terrified. You should be too. Night night. And they call me sick? <laughs> have you ever seen this creepy doll? I actually haven't because I was way too terrified as a kid and now like I'm pretty scared still so no I haven't. <laughs> okay I do not recommend. It is so scary. <laughs> Unless you're in the mood to get scared this Halloween, watch it. But if my cousins want to play it on, I am definitely snuggling with my t teddy bear Molly yeah. <laughs> all weekend. <laughs> Do you happen to like Jake Gyllenhaal as much as I do? I do like Jake Gyllenhaal. I okay. couldn't find someone that doesn't, so yeah. <laughs> well, 17 years ago, he starred in this movie, and we're going to have a clip just for you. Oh my goodness, that voice completely scares me every time <laughs> I hear it. Have you seen Dottie Darko by Once any again, no, but I actually love horror movies, so I think that even though they're scary, especially during Halloween time, I'll have to tune into this one. Definitely. I mean, it's a psychological thriller that I completely do not understand. Like, I mean, I've watched it over five times. <laughs> Maybe the sixth time I'll understand, but Maybe. while the kids... We can have a Netflix and chill for real together and oh my goodness, <laughs> watch it. We have to, definitely. I think you'll like this next one coming up. But while the kiddos will be running around in buddy mask asking for treats, <laughs> I'll be tuning in to watch this one just to get... I don't know if you caught the reference based on my outfit, but I am an 80s girl for this era, Stranger Things. 
and I'm super excited for the second season of this show. I heard we will get to see some romance blossom. It premieres tomorrow with all nine episodes, so grab your popcorn and your onesies to binge all night. Well, that's all we have for today. And next time we Netflix and chill, I will tell you all about the shows you need to catch before they're gone. gone. Now, we will toss over to Allegra for another installment of Music Minute. Hey guys, welcome to a special Halloween edition of Music Minute. As you all know, Halloween is next Tuesday, so this week we're talking about how you can dress up as your favorite music stars. Whether you want to go more pop star princess or more rocker chic, there are plenty of ways to get your perfect look. When it comes to iconic music looks, it doesn't get any more classic than Britney Spears in her Baby One More Time video. All you need is a plaid skirt, a gray cardigan, knee socks, and a white button-down shirt. Finally, braid your hair into pigtails, and I must confess, you'll be killing me with how much you look like the princess of pop. Now, if pigtails aren't really your thing, you can go for some Miley buns instead. There are lots of Miley looks to choose from, but my personal favorite would have to be her 2013 VMAs performance. I'm not sure how easily you can find a ready-made bear leotard, but with a basic gray bodysuit and some creativity, this look is definitely possible. Don't forget to add red lipstick and throw up your hair in Miley's signature buns. And lastly, if you've been dying for a chance to show off your air guitar skills, then Gene Simmons from KISS is the costume for you. To create the legendary rocker's look, dress in all black, head to toe. Extra points if you go for black leather. To complete the look, paint your face in classic KISS style and make your hair as big and messy as possible. And don't forget to stick your tongue out in every photo you take during the night. I personally don't think I could pull this one off, but if you're bold enough to go for it, you'll be sure to rock this Halloween. That's all for this week's Music Minute. Make sure to tune in next week for more exciting music news. And now I'm going to throw it over to A&D for some Punk SC. Hey guys, this is A. And D. And this, this is, is Punk SC, SC Fountain Edition. Edition. Obviously hilarious. I'm and dying. As I understand it, you actually got to witness this firsthand. I filmed this. It took a few hours in the hot sun, 103 degree weather, watching oh two girls gosh. play in water. And you couldn't even play it. But it was totally it. worth it. It was totally <laughs> worth it. They're hysterical. I don't think I've laughed so hard while filming that. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. So and funny. As you can see, we're dressed up for Halloween. Um, so we actually have um, a Twitter poll for you guys to vote which costume is your favorite. So let's take a look at that. So obviously this was my outfit from earlier. It's as you said, like 103 degrees outside. Yeah. So changed into a little cat costume so instead. Explain, explain your vibe there, Shar. I'm thinking like an 80s workout person, you know, with my strong arms there. Yeah, and I went for I went for a Hawaiian vibe. Yeah, that's a surfer. Pose. A little Honolulu, you know, <laughs> coming at you. So anyway, make sure to vote on our Twitter at USC the Buzz and see which one you guys like better. 
it's me. But anyways, well, <laughs> that'll do it for us today on The Buzz. Thanks so much for tuning in. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at USC The Buzz for the latest pop culture news. We'll see you guys next week.